I think this will make video four on this vehicle. And I actually have a good learning tool here. Pretty good. I think I could repeat for you. So here's the high side pressure, 136. Now let's take away this. One forty, and now the variable control compressor is taking over. Oh, and the engine idle is going down. So now that my engine idle is going down, it's killing my test. Okay, but this is a good indicator uh, to show you the importance of airflow and all these air dams they put here. So we have a filter here. I mean, not filter. We have a fan here, and we have a fan over there. They're pulling. They're pressurizing the engine. This will be nearly 200 degree heat. If you leave this off, if you buy a cheap aftermarket radiator and it doesn't come with this little uh, seal right here, you roll around nearly 200 degree air. I, I put my hand right here. Look at that suction. It literally pulls and it's pulling, it would pull hot engine air over here. On a hot day, with a hot engine because I haven't let this heat up yet you would have 200 degree air rolling around here you would have less airflow over here because the airflow is coming here and not forced to come here this is why they have all this this is why they have this this is why the OEM gives this piece of rubber if you've seen in my other video of this I explain why this is important if you buy an aftermarket condenser you do not get this if you buy an aftermarket condenser, that rubber dam down there does not come with the aftermarket condenser. You roll around hot engine temperature down here. If you could see where I'm opening it up at, this is what happens when you buy cheap aftermarket condensers. This is an OEM original that we replaced. You have to go back two or three videos on this car to see the steps and the procedures and the problems. This is a good body shop that went the extra mile, contacted the insurance company, explained, and got an original equipment that cost more. Because I noted and explained and put in black and white writing all the problems with the aftermarket condenser. This is a shop, even during the coronavirus, was very busy, never full, and did not have to lay off people. They have been around for generations, and they take care of their old customer base, not just the insurance companies who they might sign an agreement and contract with to be their direct. When you take care of your customers, you're one of those businesses that customers come to because you go the extra mile. You just don't roll over and put another piece of garbage component on there just because the insurance company says so. But getting back to this, uh, now that the engine idle, it's a cool day. Let me get this out of here. So we're at 129. Have to put the phone down. just putting this on here now if I were to remove this if I were to get a cheap aftermarket radiator that did not have this air seal and left this gap open under here even if I put this in if I had a cheap aftermarket condenser and I'm one of those body shops who don't put these things that they think are unnecessary because they're just rubber pieces and somebody asks especially if somebody asks to save the deductible they leave everything off you can see what the consequences would be. And remember, having hot air roll around onto your bottom tubes of your condenser with superheated engine heat because somebody leaves the plastic panel off the bottom of the car can bring the customer into a radiator air conditioning shop or your mechanical shop complaining about poor AC performance at idle, slow traffic, you know, at the stoplight because hot air rolls around 
and superheats the condenser and then raises the head pressure, lowers the efficiency on really hot days. And this is where parts start getting replaced and recharges get done that are not necessary because somebody used an aftermarket condenser or somebody left off the big plastic pan that goes down underneath here. So you have to keep your eye. I have seen so many of these things come to me trying to figure out what the problem is and they've already had hundreds of dollars of parts replaced just by simple things of airflow, missing the little plastic um, air, air stops, missing tiny little rubber seals like this. You have your fresh air vent intake to your uh, evaporator right here but the body shop did not put on this little rubber seal that seals right here to keep this 200 degree high pressure air. This is a low pressure air point. When you're driving down the stream, uh, street and you have your air conditioning on fresh air mode, it's supposed to draw air from outside down here. But instead, because this is left off, the hot engine air goes up here directly and you're feeding almost 200 degree air right into your evaporator. Then you go to a mechanical shop, he starts replacing parts, doing recharges, scratching his head, what's wrong? And this is another thing I see a lot. The body shops leave this off. And without that seal back there, feeding in 140, 180, 200 degree air right into the evaporator, no good. That's it for this uh, little video. Look back if you, this is the first video you caught of mine. On this vehicle, look back at the problems I had starting from the beginning with an aftermarket condenser.